Welcome to El Sereno. After a long and challenging winter, spring is finally in the air. And with it, more vivid color than I ever thought possible. The greens of the orchard, the ultraviolets of the year's first wildflowers, the pure whites of blossom. Gone are the grays of winter, along with Antonia's front tooth. After years of gentle observation, research and planning, their permaculture regeneration project is well underway. Their goal is to live in harmony with this land in a more friendly way, Marcus said, to adapt and mold to its needs over their own. The water they would need for their family and livestock, for example, is right under their feet. But as Marcus told me, at this early stage, what's in the ground should stay in the ground. And so began the first of their ambitious projects to capture and store the water from this winter's melting snow. <laughs> For the past few months, Marcus has been harvesting dead wood from all around the property and taking inspiration from the beaver his idea was to build a dam in the middle of the valley. And the result? The first of two lakes, already home to a family of ducks. From here, Marcus has germinated hundreds of acorns of native black and canyon live oak. The beginning of a long process to replace the thousands of trees destroyed by the fire. But their reforestation plans don't end at El Sereno. The northern end of the property borders over 30,000 acres of national forest, also ravaged by the fire. Home to so many protected or endangered species whose habitat is slowly disappearing. But with efforts like these and with help from the local community, despite the threats it faces, the future of this area is in good hands. Juliana told me it's important to them to only ever take what they need, and only when the land provides it in abundance. Each year when they harvest the native wildflowers from April to September, they never take more than a handful from each plant. Never harvesting more than a third of any crop, leaving the rest for nature. <laughs> the ducks and goats aren't the only families to move in this year. On the other side of the property lies El Sereno's new Japanese hives, a series of stacked boxes that have remained empty, awaiting a queen, until now. The bees will begin building their hive structures at the top and working their way down. Later in the summer, the top box will be harvested first and replaced back onto the bottom, with minimal disturbance to the colony. But in the meantime, we want them to make themselves at home. And that goes for you too. This year marks the beginning of something beautiful. A blossoming hope. That the best days of this land are yet to come. Summer is just around the corner. And there's lots to be done. We'll see you then. <laughs>